Okay, we are here back at the Habitat House, and we're going to tell you a little bit about the mechanical systems that are going in here. Um, first of all, the house is 24 by 48. It's got a 412 pitch roof on it, and it's got a SIP roof on it, as you've seen in the videos. And the real cool thing about what it has done for us, it has let us put all the mechanical system within the shell of the house, instead of having to go up within an attic. And um, it's really made a big difference as far as what we can do to heat and cool this place. So uh, we do have uh, a radiant heated floor. We have water tubes in the floor with a, a tankless water heater going in here. And that's going to be the only water source. Uh, then for air conditioning, we are going to run two mini splits, one in the main area out here. And we're also going to put one in the master bedroom, which is way in the back. And I just want to point out these transfer fans. So in the, in the cooling season, we're going to have the main areas cooled plus the master bedroom cooled with a mini split heat pump. And they're very efficient. They don't cost a lot to run. Um, the biggest thing is the upfront purchase of these units. We got to put those in. And because we don't have a furnace, we have to cool the house somehow. Well, to get air from the main area into a bedroom, we have what, uh, what we call these transfer fans. And these are a Panasonic transfer fan and it's simply an in-wall fan. Now this wall is a 2x6 wall here. If this was a 2x4 wall, I could have actually put the, the fan here with the boot going right into the room in the, in the ceiling. But being it's a 2x6 wall, I, I ended up just running them into the, the ceiling of the next room. And you can see the first bedroom has one. Back here to the second bedroom, we have one. And this is basically going to draw the air through the main area down this hallway and into these bedrooms and we simply have them powered by a, a second switch in the bedroom you could run a thermostat for them but we just decided to have it so that they could turn it on and off and basically if it's going to be 70 degrees in the main area you start turning these fans on give it a little time it'll be 70 degrees in the bedrooms is the is the thought process behind it now we go back into the main bedroom and we are going to put a mini split in here. It's a small bedroom, but it's still, we thought, let's put the comfort in here, make sure that we have uh, a nice cooling because we're a long ways away from the other source, which would have been on the other way, uh, other side of the house. And here we have a transfer fan going from this room into the next room. Uh, just wanted to point that out to you. Now here we've got uh, the mechanical system which we are we have the tubes in the floor for the heating system and the boiler is going to go right in here and then also I want to point out to you the uh, bathroom fans we have two bathrooms in this house one is a main bathroom and one is a, another bathroom with a laundry room in it but in here we ran the Panasonic fans and these fans are very quiet um, they don't take a lot of power at all they're, they're running a DC motor and this one is going to be a motion sensor. They, uh, they have a, it's called a pack and play module you can put onto the, onto the, uh, the cover. And when somebody walks in here, it will turn on at 80 CFM or 110 CFM or 50 CFM, whatever I have this set for. And the nice thing about it, they, Panasonic made one unit for 50, 80, or 110. There's a switch on there so you can turn it to it that switch right there but then you see these other two dials over here and one is a CFM and one is a timer so when somebody comes in they'll walk in and whatever we have the timer set for say it's set for 30 minutes and I ramp it up on 80 CFM it'll run for 80 CFM for that time frame and then once they've left the room it'll motion it'll sense that and in that time frame that we have up there set it'll ramp back down to a, a lower CFM. So they really work nice and that is giving us the continuous ventilation in the house. So we have two of those and then right here in the hallway we have a Whisper Comfort ERV. And the cool thing about these ERVs is it's just it's very small. And we have simply an in and an out. Uh, and uh, this thing is smart enough to know when to turn on and when to shut off and uh, you're not piping it all throughout the house it's simply a spot ventilator and in this house it works really really well 
Um, with the two continuous run fans and this, it met our ASH Ray 622. And uh, the thing that you want to notice about everything is it's all within the enclosed area. And that is the biggest deal here. Uh, we tested the house last night. We have sheet rockers coming in this morning, so we, had to, we wanted to test it without the sheet rock on. We tested at 1.38 ACH at negative 50. Code for this house is 3.0 ACH at negative 50. And we have done it without the sheetrock on, and we haven't even put any foam around the outlets or anything on the exterior walls. Um, and the windows need a little bit more attention. They have some foam in them, but they could use a little bit more. Um, also, I want you to notice underneath the shower, we have to put more foam in here. Um, but those holes underneath shower drains are a good spot for a 45 degree temperature to be coming out of there all year round, 45 to 50 degrees. And if you don't seal those up, you will constantly get air driving through the house. And that's what makes it such a... You don't want to have a cold floor in your shower. You need to seal those off before it gets sheet rocked. So there's a couple things that we want to, to do there. Also, I do want to point out, up in the roof, we've got the, uh, we have a couple vents up there. And if you notice, the plumber has not sealed those off. And that's a prime spot for a, a roof panel to rot. Not right now, not in five years, but in 10 or 20 years, you're gonna get moisture up there. You need to seal around those, those pipes and make sure that they're full so that no moisture can get up in that system. And that is uh, a little overview of the Habitat House. If you have any questions, call Extreme Panel at 800-977-2635. Thank you.